Okay. This is... Uh... This is... Mm, uh, how do I put this? I plan to do this after I did the Military History Universe Part 1, but I decided what's the point of seeing the future and the future and the past and the, and the past and the past. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, uh, I mean, it's not very useful, I mean. So, how about I do it like this? So here it is, and then 2020. The life web is made around our universe that traps existing souls forming a wall to keep out the others. It stores is kept in a silver temple. Just to tell you what the others are, is basically the creatures from outside our universe that are entering to destroy it. And there are a lot of pictures, by the way, that have nothing to do with... Oh, and I forgot to mention, these dates are not exact. Like, it's not, everything's not going to be 2100, 2200, 2300. Um, these are just uh, very random estimates. Okay, 2100. The steel war begins between organics and synthetics. And I'm telling you these pictures are random because none of this actually involves Earth yet because humans are basically just like a small island in the universe. Okay. Battle of Polaris ends the steel war. Synthetics begin the purge. Uh, the AI that does not say Al that says AI number 745 rebels ends the purge and creates the forest and the forest is basically um, it's not just living trees who are like the central power in it but they it includes it used to include all organic life Psionics developed on Earth in 3,200. The forest learned this technique from humans. What this means about psionics is spells used to cost the lives of whoever was doing the casting and required a load of people to die. But uh, now, it, now it's relatively easy. The infernals evolve. You can see which pictures are mine and which aren't by the quality. But seriously, the, the infernals are living fire and they're made from a giant contraption of sticks. And it's actually one gigantic uh, thing that's designed so it can think. And the fire itself um, is made so there's an opening at the bottom that sucks in air. It creates a giant wind going up and sucking up uh, sticks. And then there's another hatch at the top that can open, and that's how they create new infernals. That they build a smaller, um, a smaller version that's shot out the top, and then that one expands, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, it's not just sticks. There are other life forms that have to live in there as well for it to work. The the massacre at Rainbow Spring basically. Um, there, the Infernal Ambassador went to the um, forest and said they want to join the forest, but they the forest said no. We hate fiery things, so they uh, killed killed them basically. And this is a picture from the park Rainbow Spring. The Steel Remnants joined the Infernals. Well, they're basically the last of the robots, sort of. And. Their symbol is um, a rusted sword. The citadel is built to replace the source causing... Because remember, the source that held up the web was destroyed, right? By the forest. So now, they've tried to build something else. But unfortunately, the web wouldn't accept a different source. And by the way, this is a picture from Mass Effect. The others return and cause the great extinction. Yay! The others driven out again, Web replaced with the wall who sources the entire universe instead of just one rock. And that is obviously Minecraft. The Hedrons appear, 5,000. Why have I not been saying the dates? 5,400, the plague gained sentience. That's, uh, the techno-organic virus, not important. Did, oh, I see adware. I don't do adware. No, seriously. Smart advisor is just adware, as I said. It's adware that's sanctioned by Microsoft. Okay. 
No one remembers the only the golden one that really is for life to dis disable the hedrons and cure the plague. So this is 5,500, and that's a picture. Well, that's fan art for, uh, what was it, Dragon Rider? Um, here, the last hedron is destroyed. Ha, 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 ha. The steel remnants capital, New Prima, is destroyed. The infernal exodus from our universe. The exodus opened, the wall temporary said the others once again returned. And this picture is from, uh, I, I don't, yeah, I think it's a game, a snow. Not a game of ice and fire, it's a song of ice and fire. Like, I combine Game of Thrones with the song of ice and fire. Okay, the others repelled for the third time, the wall becomes two-way. Uh, yeah, because originally when the infernals opened it, that allowed the others to get in. The cinders evolved. Uh, yeah. Once again, my art sucks. The Great Seer discovers cinders' origins and ultimate purpose. Spoilers! They were created by the Infernals, uh, to be, like, the... Bring back the Infernals, basically. And I don't know what that's a picture of. The Infernal races reborn for cinders. They now call themselves the Green Dawn. Yes, obviously, now they're green instead of red. They're destroyed at the Battle of Safi Sifi. I don't know how to, I don't know how the aliens pronounce it. And that's a human word anyway. Time travel is now possible. We all know that's the TARDIS, but obviously they don't use the TARDIS. Hand of Darkness tries to bring back the Infernals. Uh it's an infernal worshiping cult. What is there to say about this one? Okay, I've decided I'm not going to say the gear names. You can see them, okay? I'm not going to read them. I have better things to do. The Infernals, they brought show up and turned the Hand of Darkness into the Berserkers. And that's Warhammer 40,000. Infernals destroy the Time Gates. That's Chrono Trigger. Forest splits in the Canopy, Underworld, Pit, and Sea. I wonder where Zack got... I mean, Cadmos. I wonder where Cadmos got those names. Infernals kill all the pit and almost all the canopy, leaving the reptilians. Um, uh, in later stories, there will be more description of the reptilians, etc. But for now, all you have to go by is my terrible art. Let's just say they're actually crustaceans, obviously, by the look of them. But they live in trees. I'm going to describe them later. I am I describing them now? The underworld is destroyed. And yes, they do use skeletons, but not those skeletons. The sea creates the leviathans. No, none of you just saw that random rectangle appear. And I don't know what that is. I don't even know what that is. Can any of you, you guys tell me what that is and make me a lot happier? Fernals are permanently destroyed. For those of you who don't know, that's exalted. The Leviathans become the Ravagers. The last of the Underworld, the Void, returns. Destroyed at the Battle of Midnight. Th that's Warriors. Humans develop FTL. That's FTL. No, seriously. There's a game called FTL. Check it out. It's pretty cool. The Colonization Boom. That's another game. It's Spore. Also very cool. This guy apparently has nobody in his fleet. I don't know why. I guess he must be like a warrior or something. The sea... Once again, random rectangles. What are you doing? Sea begins the tide war against the humans. And that's Magic the Gathering. Sea is driven to extinction by the Terrigen. And that's real life. The Reptilians begin the final war with the Terrigen, and that's a really good movie that just came out, like, yesterday, and you should totally see it, and I obviously I don't mean this movie, I mean the new Godzilla movie. The Terrigen drive the Reptilians extinct as well, that's Doctor Who again, but those are the Silurians, and that's an evil white rectangle. Billion, travel to parallel universe developed. That's the show sliders for those of you who haven't heard of it. <sighs> the wall decays the fourth final time. The others return. The Terrigen destroyed the others. If you want to know what that is, you probably think that's real life. No, no. That's uh, a program called Terrigen. And 
hopefully you realize that when I say Terrigen, I mean like creatures descending from Earth. The great exodus from our universe, Trillion. And that's the Bible. Why am I not saying real life? Because the Bible isn't real life, it's just a fictional story. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Trillion. Here the descendants of the plague remain in our dying universe. For the few of you who don't know what Minecraft is, that's a slime from Minecraft. They and all multicellular life extinct. Spore, again, but this is cell stage. Like, that was the end of Spore, this is like the beginning of Spore. It's a really big game. All life extinct. All synthetics die as well. That's not... I did not take that picture. <laughs> and the end. What did you think of this, guys? If you want to see the other half of our history, like the past, to tell me, or would you rather see, like, uh, like a map of our universe and description of, like, the various species as they stand today, but... Um, or like history of our world, anything you would like, but it obviously has to fit into this mythos. So, yeah, guys, um, in the words of that one guy, Chow, and, um, my name's been Cadmos, and this is Astrophysics, episode, uh, three, and, yeah, Chow, guys, bye.